Okay, in this video, I'm gonna give you the full step-by-step -step process on how you can connect WhatsApp to NHN. We're gonna go through every single step in a detailed manner so you can know exactly how you can connect your WhatsApp to NHN and you can start sending messages, receiving messages and connecting AI agents to your WhatsApp account. The first thing we need to do is come over here to NHN and connect up to the WhatsApp Business Cloud. So we're gonna click here, look up WhatsApp and we're going to select WhatsApp Business Cloud. And we have a bunch of triggers here most of these are completely useless. The only one we're going to use is on messages. And this basically means whenever the WhatsApp account that we connect, whenever that receives a new message, then trigger this workflow and start doing whatever we need it to do. Now, to connect up to this account, we're obviously gonna click in here and press create new credential. And as you can see here, we need a client ID and a client secret. Now, they're the only two pieces of information we need. And to get them two pieces of info, we're gonna come over here and we're going to look up business dot facebook.com we're going to select in here and you can see here it directly brings me to my account that's logged in now most of you if you're watching this video probably won't have an account so your your page will look something like this where you will need to log in and when you log in or when you want to create a new account you can either log in with your facebook account which i would advise you to do or you can just create a brand new account in which it asks you for your business name your actual name and your business email address. You just fill this in, click submit, and you should be able to create one. Now, go ahead and sign up, do that process, and then you will be on a page like this in where you will be able to follow the next few steps. So the next steps is firstly, make sure that when you sign up, it creates a business portfolio for you. Most of the time, 99% of the time, it will automatically do this for you. But just in case it doesn't, come down here and press create a business portfolio. And again, just do the same process where you give it a business name. Like maybe for me, it would be work ready AI, put in your first name, last name, and your business email address. Now, most of you won't have to worry about this. When you sign up, this will automatically be done for you. When we're all signed in, then we're gonna come down here to where it says settings. Down here in settings, we're gonna come up over here to where it says accounts and down to where it says apps over here. So we're gonna create a new app in which we can pass over to NHM. Now in this app, you can see I already have one that's created, but for us, we're gonna to have to create a brand new one. So I'm gonna come up here to press add and up here in add, we're going to press create a new app ID. After we come in here to where it says create a new app ID, I'm going to X out of this and we have to give this app a name. Now, don't worry about this. This is completely back end. No clients or no people messaging your WhatsApp agent will be able to see this. So I'm just going to give this the name test N A N, And for the app contact email, I'm going to put in my work, my work email. Uh, it's going to be this one. And we're going to click next. Then when we click next, it's going to bring us to a page like this. We're going to come down here to where it says others. We're going to select this and come right down to the end where it says looking for something else other we're going to select that and press next then we are going to select an app type so you can see here the app can't be changed after your app is created so make sure over here we select business and press next and for your app name this is the app that would show on your my apps page so again this is completely back end so you don't have to worry about the name and for your business portfolio Again, over here in this step, remember when we had to firstly come to this page and create a business portfolio, make sure you have one created and we're going to use this business portfolio over here in the app creation. So you can see here, we have only one selected here. If you don't have a business portfolio, it won't show up here. So make sure you create one before you come to this step and we are going to press create app. And it's gonna ask me to re-enter my password. I'll click submit and now it's going to create that app for me. Now, after we create that app, it's going to bring us to a page like this. On this page, we're gonna come down here to where it says WhatsApp, and we're going to set up our WhatsApp integration. So we're gonna click set up down here. And after, after we click set up, it brings us to a page like this, and we now have a little WhatsApp tab down here, as you can see. So we're gonna come over here to where it says API setup. Over here in API setup, WhatsApp will give us a test phone number. And this phone number is essentially the WhatsApp account that we can go back and forth with um, to make sure that this WhatsApp app is essentially working. Before we create a number or before we integrate a number into this, we can use this test number to go back and forth. We can connect up our AI agent. And that's what we're gonna do in this video. So we're gonna use the test number that WhatsApp gives us. And then over here, you have a two section which is to select a recipient phone number. And in here is where you will put your actual, your personal phone number. 
the reason you'll put your personal phone number in here is because when you're using a test number that WhatsApp gives you, they make sure that you have authorization of the number that you're sending messages to. So when you click in here and you put a recipient phone number, then it's going to send you a message over to your personal account. And that's basically just verification that you are the owner of that phone number. So we're going to use this test number and then we're going to put in our, our personal phone number down here. You'll click down here, press manage phone number list. And up here is where you will add your phone number. So come in here, press add your phone number and then put in your phone number. And when you add your phone number, then you'll be able to come down here and press send a message. But before you send a message, you need to come up here to press generate access token. So I'm going to generate an access token. Now, when we generate that access token, it's going to give us a number here. And uh, we can come down here after we've generated that, we can put in our personal phone number and then we can press send message right here. And when we send this message, we should receive a text message. So you can see there, it sent us a message. And if we come over here to WhatsApp, it sends us over this message, which is hello world, welcome and congratulations. This demonstrates your ability to send a WhatsApp message notification from the cloud API hosted by Meta. Thank you for taking your time to test with us. So it sends this message over to your personal WhatsApp account and that shows that we've now created a successful connection. Now that's just the first part. We need to actually get again, the client ID and the client secret to bring back over to NHN. So to get the client ID and the client secret, we're gonna come up here to where it says app settings and we're going to click basic. And over here in basic, we need to get this, which is a client ID and this over here, which is a client secret. So I'm gonna copy this client ID right here, bring it back over to N810 and come in here to our credential and put it in here. And then for the client secret, I'm gonna come back over to this page, press show, bring it over here and drop it in here to the client secret. And when we press save, you can now say the connection tested successfully. So now we have connected to that WhatsApp account and we can start receiving messages. Now to really see if this works, I'm going to execute this workflow and I'm gonna come back over here to where WhatsApp sent us that test message before. And I'm going to say, hello, is this working? And if we send that message, then you can see over here, we just received that message on N810 and we can come in here to check what the message was. So you can see down here, we have the message, which is, hello, is this working? So that's basically the full connection made. So now we can start receiving messages. Now, the last thing we need to do is we need to configure it so we can start sending messages also. And to do that, we're gonna again, come over here and we are going to select WhatsApp again except this time it's going to be a send message. So you can see here we have message actions and we have send message. So I'm gonna select this one right here. And for this, we need to create a new credential and it's asking us for firstly an access token and secondly, a business account ID. And this is very simple. We're just gonna come back over here to this page and we're gonna come back down to where we were before over here in WhatsApp API setup. So I'm gonna come down here to where it says API setup and down here in the API setup, we're going to firstly copy this WhatsApp business account ID. So I'm going to copy this, bring it back over here to N810, and I'm going to drop that in here. So that's a business account ID. And lastly, we need an access token, which is just going to be this one again. So we're going to generate a brand new one. And you can see it generates us a brand new code. So I'm going to come back over here to N810, and I'm going to drop that access token in here. And we're going to click save. And now again, connection tested successfully. So after we have made that successfully, we're gonna come down here and select the test number that it gives us. So for me, you can see it's my actual WhatsApp number um, for the business account that I set up. But if, you, if this is your first time setting it up, then it will have that test number that we mentioned before, which is just this one that it gives you for free over here on WhatsApp. So that's the number you're gonna see in this section. So you're gonna select that. And then over here is where we have to put the recipient's phone number. Now for a recipient's phone number, you'll most likely get that from the inbound trigger. So if we come over here to where we initially triggered a message, so the inbound messages come from, uh, if we come down here to the where it says WhatsApp ID, the WhatsApp ID is the same thing as the person's phone number. So I'm gonna put the WhatsApp ID in here. And that just basically means we're sending a message back to this person that sent a message to us. And the message that we want to send back can be anything. We can say, hello, how are you? Or we can connect up an AI agent to send a message back here. But for demo purposes, we're going to say, hello, how are you? I'm going to execute this step. 
And if we come over here to WhatsApp, you can see it sends us a message back saying, hello, how are you? So that's the full process done, how you can connect it to receive messages and send messages. If you like that video, leave a like below and comment on what you want to see next. And if you want to set up your own AI automation agency, click the first link in the description where I show you how I've scaled my agency to over 100K per month.